afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, teacher. teacher. Oh, thank you. How are you guys? Are you okay? It's okay, teacher. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Ready for today. Uh, I will start passing the tenants. It's almost one o'clock, right? Uh, remember, as soon as you listen to your names, say present. Let's start. Ana Emperatriz. Ana Maria. I'm here present. Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Andrea. Present. Okay. Carmen. Claudia Epigenia. Daniela. Edith. Edma, Esmeralda, Ereson, Ever, Iris, Regina Hernández, Iris Rosario, Present, José Daniel. Marcela, Mari Julia, Marvin, present teacher, Ovidio, Reina Ramírez, present, ah, okay, Ricardo. Royer, Rosta, Sandra, present, Sara, Silvia, present, Sonia, present, Stephanie, Walter, and Jennifer. Present. Thank you, Walter. Okay, guys. We're good. You must have been a little bit. Okay, guys. Vamos a iniciar. Eh, recuerden que sería vamos a estar reforzando la clase de él del martes que no tuvimos, es que les agradezco su tiempo. Vamos a comenzar de igual forma a agradecer por respetar la, la plataforma. He estado actualizando y veo que hemos completado, ¿verdad? Algunos que nos faltan, nos falta, perdón, y hacerles la invitación que lo que podamos completar, ¿verdad? Eh, tenían a más tarde ayer pero hagamos lo posible ¿verdad? de completar durante ese día. Y ¿verdad? podemos seguir avanzando. Recuerden que la, la próxima semana tendríamos, que sea nuestra segunda semana, tenemos que completar hasta la sección 3. Y el midterm sería adicional a lo que tenemos que hacer. Y algo que quiero mencionar con respecto a la plataforma he estado observando. Algunos me han estado ¿verdad? preguntando, ya sea en el grupo o de forma personal. Excelente. Saben que les voy a estar ayudando. Eh, me disculpo por si a veces, pero tal vez no les contesto en el momento, pero recuerden ¿verdad? que como soy en otras actividades o posiblemente en otra clase, entonces me difícil a veces, pero en su momento les voy a responder. Claro que sí. Lo que quiero mencionar es lo siguiente, que ponga, prestemos atención cada vez que desarrollemos alguna actividad, algún ejercicio, prestemos atención a las instrucciones, leamos primero las instrucciones. Y ahí está la clave, como se lo mencioné, las primeras clases. Entonces, 
con base en lo que se nos menciona ahí, es como vamos a ir respondiendo. ¿verdad? Y a veces, recuerden que solo hay que escribir lo que hace falta. No hay que escribir todo de nuevo. Posiblemente solo una palabra tienen que ustedes eh, escribir para completar solamente eso. Pero claro, hay que observar cómo esa idea está dada, ¿verdad? Cómo se escribe, por ejemplo, etc. Hay que prestar bastante atención a esos detalles. Es que eso es lo, lo que he estado observando, ¿verdad? Pero no se preocupen, eso siempre, siempre nos pasa y, claro, no está mal preguntar. Con mucho gusto. Más, eh, aprovechando que ¿verdad? ese día finalizamos la semana 1. Así que iba a decir. Mm, ah, otra cosita hablando de los ejercicios. Hay que verificar a veces que la palabra, ¿verdad? Es escrita correctamente. Esa es otra cosita. Pues probablemente a veces nos haga falta una letra. Y eso nos pues, está generando, ¿verdad? Que la respuesta sea incorrecta. O a veces le agregamos una letra más, ¿verdad? Entonces eso también. Pequeños, ¿verdad? Pequeñas situaciones en las cuales posiblemente tengamos las respuestas incorrectas. Otra situación es, por ejemplo, a veces cuando eh, hay palabras que ¿verdad? van juntas, es decir, a veces las, las une un, un signo, por ejemplo, perdón, un guión, un guión, y a veces ¿verdad? sabemos que cuando las une un guión, palabras son compuestas, eh, no, no, tienen que, no se pueden separar, ¿verdad? Pero eso sí. Entonces, a veces posiblemente le demos espacio después del guión. Tenemos, ¿verdad? por decirlo así, dos palabras, las une un guión, y esa es una palabra compuesta, ¿verdad? una palabra nueva. Entonces, a veces pasa de que escribimos la primera palabra, el guión, y luego damos un espacio. ¿verdad? Entonces, con el simple hecho de dar un espacio en las respuestas, le va a generar, le, le va a generar ¿verdad? que bueno, el sistema le va a tomar como mal, aunque la respuesta sea buena. Entonces, esos pequeños detalles hay que prestarles atención, tener cuidado para que no parecemos ahí. A veces, yo sé, ¿verdad?, que intentan varias veces, ustedes están seguros, ¿verdad?, 100% que es la respuesta. Y es la respuesta. Entonces, es que, tranquilos, solo veamos que para ser bien escrito todo. Ok. Sí, aquí está Carmen. Gracias, Carmen, Ricardo, Iris, Regina. Los voy a poner en la historia, que se me olvide. Hello, good afternoon, how are you? Thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Anytime. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you, my friend? Ricardo, Carmen, ¿qué más? Iris, Regina. Solamente Oh, aquí es Rosa. Rosa es joining the, the session. Hello, Rosa. Good afternoon. Are you, Rosa? Can you hear me? Oh, thank you, Emma, by the way. Hello, Emma. Good afternoon. Sorry. Good afternoon, teacher present. Thank you. Ya, ya la agregué en lista también. ¿Qué más? Antes de, de in, iniciar. ¿Qué más se acaba de unir? Bueno, repito lo que acabo de incluir. ¿verdad? Carmen, Edna, Iris, Regina, Ricardo, Rosa. Y los demás estamos ya en lista. Ok, las que tienen. Bueno, eso sería básicamente bueno, lo, lo que pues, tenían parecería para mencionarles con respecto a la, a la plataforma. Eh, muy bien, excelente. Eh, los, que hemos, bueno, los que hemos completado las dos secciones, eh, a los que nos hace falta, nos, pero los invito a que podamos completar ese día. Muy bien hecho también. Yo sé que ¿verdad? estamos haciendo un doble esfuerzo para poder completar ¿verdad? lo que está asignado. Así es que sigamos. Cualquier duda o consulta la pueden hacer acá eh, por WhatsApp. 
o me pueden contactar, ¿verdad? De forma personal, si gustan, ustedes deseen. Así es que vamos a continuar para ese, ese, ese día. Terminamos la primera semana. Recuerden que estamos reforzando, ¿verdad? Estamos reponiendo la clase del martes, que no, no la dimos, ¿verdad? En este caso no, no la di. Pero acá estamos, ¿verdad? Reponiendo. Algunos de sus compañeros que no se han unido. Espero que se puedan unir. Ok. No sé si hay dudas, alguna pregunta, comentario. Sin pena. A veces es lo que nos da, nos da pena preguntar. ¿Todo bien? Yes, teacher. Ya, yeah, ok. No olvidemos lo último. Está nuestra cámara, please. Ok. Let's start. The topic for today is vocabulary house in apartment. House in apartment. This is our class number four. Today is Friday, March 18th. Let's start with the topic. We will start recognizing vocabulary related to house in apartment. House in apartment. I have a question for you. Can you tell me what difference between in a house and apartment is? What's the difference between house and apartment? I know say um, lo, el tamaño. Okay, you can say, when you say the, the size, I mean, yeah, the size, you can say uh, the house is big. In the apartment, I would say while the apartment, It's a small, right? Yes. Very good. That, that's the way you can say it. The apartment, but the house is big, while the apartment is small. Very good. But that is a difference. That is a difference. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. We can say you, man. Yeah, I was, I, I was just, you know, fixing something. Okay. <laughs> We have a house in an apartment. House in an apartment. So this is a house and this is an apartment, right? The house, as you said, is big, right? Big. And the apartment different because the apartment is small, right? Small. We can see here a building, right? Building. So in this building, there are a lot of apartments. Right? En un edificio, ustedes saben que hay, ¿verdad? Muchos apartamentos. En the house, you know, is a unique, right? A unique, I would say, building, right? Building or, in this case, just, you know, the house, right? the place, correct? Pero, sorry. You say, eh, eso está bien, ya lo dijo usted. Okay. Well, in a house, in or an apartment, we have, right, different rooms, right, different parts. A house, as you can see, this one has a lot of rooms, right? A lot of rooms or parts of the house. For example, let's just start by saying that a house, let's guess the house, this house has two floors. The house has two floors. two floors. This house, this house has two floors, right? First and the second floor. First floor, second floor, right? First floor, second floor. So this is the first floor. This is the first floor. And this is the second floor. 
So in the first floor, talking about the house, we have some rooms, right? Or different parts of the house. For example, we have a dining room. Listen, dining room, dining room. We have dining. a living room. Yeah, dining living room. room. Living dining room. room. Living room. Kitchen. 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 We have the drawer. Drawer. The drawer. The drawer. The drawer. Door. 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 Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. room. We have the stairs. 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 There's those are the ones that you use in order to you know go upstairs, go upstairs, right? Or you go downstairs, right? Stairs, stairs, garage, 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 garage. We have in this house we have three bedrooms. Bedroom. 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 Those are the parts of the house, right? We have a lot of rooms. Dining room, living room, kitchen, laundry room, garage, bedroom, the bathroom. We have the drawer, the garage, etc. right? So, Teacher, house. one question. Y, y si, por ejemplo, yo quiero mencionar lo que está internamente, por ejemplo, en la cocina, ¿cómo formo la oración para decir en mi cocina eh, encuentras o hay? Yeah. You can say, this is one way in the kitchen, there are, or there is a stove, a microwave, a refrigerator. Etc. That is the way you can say it. In the kitchen, there are so there is there is a stove, a microwave, a refrigerator, etc. That is the way. Or if you want to say another way, you can say my kitchen has a stove, microwave, a refrigerator. Etc. That is the way. We're going to see there is in the or in a, you know, next class, next week. There is in the or. This is the way you express, you know, the things that you have in that specific room, right? The kitchen, the living room, the dining room, etc. But that is the way. Y entonces, vaya, si eso especifica el, lo, las cosas que tengo adentro, en el caso de abajo, como que ha puesto diferente. Ah, that is another way you can say it. Esa es otra forma de decirlo. Hay, recuerde que eh, en, en, en los idiomas, ¿verdad? Usted puede expresar las ideas diferentes, ¿verdad? Uno tiende a parafrasear. Entonces, no necesariamente, aunque lo que estaba explicando de lo que puso en rojo, no necesariamente lo puedo decir así, sino también es esto otra opción. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, My kitchen you. has a stove, a microwave, a repair. Most of the times we use this form, right? La mayor parte del tiempo, ¿verdad? Son usadas esas formas. En inglés, there is a... Eso lo vamos a ver la próxima semana. There is in the order. Ahorita solo somos como, ¿verdad? Introducción al vocabulario. Próxima semana utilizarlo. But that is the way. That is the way. Okay, this is the house. Any questions about parts of the house? Solo que no los podemos pronunciar bien todavía. <laughs> Let's go. We're, we're going to practice. No worries. Listen and repeat. Dining room. 
Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Living room. Living room. Door. 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 Kitchen. Kitchen. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Stairs. 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 No tears. No tears. You say stairs. 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 Garage. Garage. Bedroom. Bedroom. Closet. 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 Hole. 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 Stairs. Stairs. Bathroom. 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 Okay. Bathroom. Those are all, you know, the parts of the house, right? In our houses, we have those parts, right? A bedroom, a kitchen, a dining room, living room, a garage, door, stairs, etc. Right? Teacher, en yeah. en en la entrada, eh, esa parte de la entrada que está, ¿cómo lo diríamos? Cuando, que, que, hay, que hay como, sí, bueno, no sé si ahí es así, pero que en las casas hay como un pequeño, a veces como patiecito, corredor, pero que tiene techo. Una verja. Yeah, you say fence. Como fence. un, un por... Un... We say fence. This is a fence. I think you're referring to this, right? Yes. Porch. So you say fence. Como fence. un porch en la entrada. Porch. Um, it could be like that. Fence, right? Fence. Fence. This is, you know, uh, at the entrance, right? At the entrance. The fence. Okay. Does it make sense? En la imagen que está a la par está el elevador y está así como esa puerta abajo. Lobby, no sé Lobby. Qué. Lobby. Pero ¿qué quiere decir? O sea, no es door. No, no. This one, lobby, is not referring to the door. No. Lobby, for example, when you go to a, let's say, a hotel. Hotel, right? Let's say intercontinental. You go to the hotel because you're going to stay there, right? Or you visit another country, right? You go to a hotel. So when you enter the hotel, you are in the lobby. So you're waiting, right? Or you're booking uh, a room, right? You're booking a room. So when you enter the hotel, for example, the inter inter intercontinental hotel, sorry. So you, when you enter, you're in the lobby. You're waiting for your room, right? That is a lobby. The lobby is la, la parte que uno encuentra, la, la cuando uno entra a un lugar, por ejemplo, a un hotel. No es exactamente la puerta. Es como, como una entrada principal, no sé. Exacto, es como una, una área de, de, por decirlo así, de espera, ¿verdad? Es sillones, no se sienta, etc. Es el lobby. Gracias, teacher. Yes. And the, you know, we have, talking about the apartment, in the apartment, you know, these are the rooms, right, that, or the parts you can identify. So as you can see, we have a few, a few rooms, right? We have bedroom, we have a bathroom. Look at the, the bathroom, it's small, right? Really small, the bathroom. This is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. We have a closet over here, closet. We have a dining room. This is the dining room. This is the kitchen. We have a living room, this is just this. 
you know, comparing with the house, look at the house, it's here, right? And we have the elevator, elevator, elevator. Listen and repeat, bedroom. 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 Closet. Closet. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Kitchen. 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 Living room. Living room. Elevator. 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 Lobby. Lobby. This is the lobby. I mean, show you some pictures. Teacher, y, y por qué el comedor se dice así? O sea, that is the way. I mean, we're referring to the whole thing. Yeah. Whole thing. Por qué, por qué así como, como cena, vea? O sea, Mm, no, que... no, no exactamente no, cena. No, es como cena, no. No, ah. se refiere exactamente a, al comedor. Como decimos, ¿verdad? Eh, en, en, nuestro, en español, ¿verdad? Algunas casas, para algunas casas, tienen su comedor, ¿verdad? Otras solamente, es uno solo, ¿verdad? Por decirlo así, la, la cocina. Pero algunas casas tienen su comedor aparte, ¿verdad? Sí. Tienen su cocina y tienen su, su comedor. Esa es la forma, como se, se dice, dining room. ¿Y cómo se dice cena? Eh, dinner. Dinner. Mm, yo por dinner. eso lo asociaba. Que se yeah, I mean, it, 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 it has an association. It has uh, an association, right? Dinner, or, you know, we have uh -huh. dinner in this case, right? Dining. Ah, OK. That is a relation, relationship, right? Dinner. 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 Dining room. Dining room, that is a, the, the, the room, right? The place. Where you eat for right? your breakfast, lunch, dinner. This is a lobby, right? This is a lobby. So you enter, right? You enter, like I said, the hotel, the building, and you can see, right, uh, you know, armchairs, and sofas, tables, right? You can stay there, you can sit down, you can wait, right, for your room, for example. Solo cuando uno entra, ¿verdad? Mira, que hay verdad muebles, sillones, mesa, verdad, eh, etc. Y ahí se puede verdad esperar, entonces es un hotel, uno que reserva, ¿verdad? Pero es el lobby. Ok, so those are the price of the apartment. The apartment. Any questions? Please. Give me a second. My computer is dead. I, I have no battery. Momentos. Any questions, the meeting? Preguntas? Listen and repeat. Teacher, ante, um, one yeah. question. Entonces, aquí donde está el apartment, eh, para decir que está como en el edificio, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo se dice? En el edificio. Ajá, porque como el apartamento está en todo ese edificio, que hay apartamentos, solo se dice eh, apartments mm. y ya se da a entender que todo ahí es de apartamentos, ¿o cómo es en ese caso? No puede ser así, I'm, I'm in the apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you okay. want to, if you want to refer to the, you know, the whole thing, if you want to refer, refer to all this, this is a building, right? You can say, I'm in the building, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm in the building, it's okay. This is the building, right? This is the whole building. In the building, there are a lot of apartments. Very good. Somebody else, questions? Alguien más, preguntas? By the way, good afternoon, Esmeralda. Sorry. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Good, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. 
Okay, listen and repeat. Let's go with this vocabulary one more time. Bathroom. 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 Bedroom. 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 Closet. Closet. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Living room. Kitchen. 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 Elevator. Kitchen. Elevator. Kitchen. Kitchen. Elevator. Elevator. Lobby. 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 Yeah, but it's a way. This is the vocabulary, guys. At parts of the house, in the apartment. We have the apartment too. All right. Any questions? No, teacher. No, no. questions. Okay. Well, Puede volver, perdón, puede volver a repetir como se dice jardín y lo de las graditas, algo así. Oh, ok, you say yard. 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 Stairs. 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 Yeah, very good. Thank you. I have a question. Tell me. I have a question to share. Yeah, tell me, tell me. What is the difference between stairs and steps? Oh, okay. Well, the stairs, the stairs are the ones right, that you use because you're, you want to go upstairs, so you want to go downstairs. Says right. So are those platforms? Why right, I would say that you use in order to you know go up or go down. And the steps are the one. I mean, are the the things. I mean, when you're walking, right? When you walk, you give steps, right? You walk. Those are steps. When you give steps, right? When you walk. That is the difference between you know. Stairs and steps. This is when you walk, but there are steps. And the stairs are the ones right, that they use because you want to go upstairs, you want to go downstairs. Yeah. So you use this, right? The platforms. I mean, you have the platforms, right? Entonces, ¿cómo sería escalón? Escalón. En inglés. Big similar okay. stairs. Stairs. Sí, yo había oído también la palabra steps. Steps. It could be. Para escalón. Escalón. It could be. It could be uh, like. Oh, ok. Lo Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you say escalón. Escalón. Mm. Okay, if you if you look the before uh, I I saw the, the worst uh, steps. And besides, I so saw the uh, a draw of a star. Mm, okay. Over yeah. there. You know, it it depends on the context, Walter, because the stairs, oh. yeah, the stairs are this ones, right? The stairs are this ones. However, you can use the steps, right? Steps. There are some. You know, occasions in which you you will find like you know steps, the steps you, for example, go upstairs, you go downstairs. It can be you know as I said, escalon, right? Escalones. But depending on the context, I mean, steps, claro, puede 
es considerado de esa forma, la de Sí. Y stairs, nos referimos, ¿verdad?, al, cuando se va subiendo un, un edificio. Usa las escaleras. Stairs. Steps. Escalones. So you're referring to, you know, one thing, right? One thing. En este caso, steps se refiere a un solo, ¿verdad? Un solo escalón. Ok. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Does it make sense? Yeah, are we good? I'm done, ok. Ok. Very good. Vale. Algunas palabras, pero va a depender también del contexto, ¿verdad? Steps, claro, puede ser considerado como escalones. Como escalones. Eh, for example, let's say that a stair has... Listen to this. Um, the stairs... Have, let's say... 10 steps, for example. 10 steps. But that can be the way. Other, the stairs have 10 steps. Las escaleras tienen, en verdad, 10 casos escalones, como diríamos, para la redundancia. So, it's half the 10 steps. Ok. That is all. House and apartment, right? We have different parts. Parts of the house, parts of the house, sorry, parts of the apartment. We're going to practice with some questions. Teacher, I question. Me... Yeah, tell me. Um, the step eh, también se puede ocupar como para pasos. Exactly, that was what I, that's what I say. And steps is when you walk. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, it's steps. For example, when you do exercise, when you do exercise, you know, you measure, right? You measure the, the steps. Step by step. Exactly. Oh, okay. You measure your steps. Yeah. With your smartwatch, example, con el con su reloj, verdad, el smartwatch. A veces, verdad, nosotros calculamos, verdad, o medimos los, los pasos que uno da, steps. Steps. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. And the steps, you know, it can be like in another context, right? Por eso le digo, va a depender del contexto, porque steps puede ser considerado como pasos para hacer, verdad, algo, por ejemplo, procedimiento. O sea, step es el conjunto. Y steps se puede usar para el individual. Step. Exactly. Las exactly. gradas, el escalón. Ok, exactly. ok. There okay, you go. thank you. You're welcome. Ok, here we have parts, more parts of the house. Right? Well, we have, you know, the ones that we have discussed previously. House. Living room. Bedroom. Kitchen. Dining room. Listen. Dining, dining room. room. Bathroom. Dining room. Bathroom. Bathroom. We have the garden. 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 You know, garden. It, can, it can be garden or it can be jar. It's the same. Garden or jar. Garden. 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 Yeah, we can use both. Gar garden or jar. Ambas son, son válidas. Garden and jar. It's the same. We have the back jar. The back jar. So for example, in this image, right? This is the back jar. This is the back jar. And this is, you know, the jar or the front. You know, the front. The front. Back jar. And this is the front. Mm, not exactly. It's not la parte de atrás, it's la parte de frente. Back jar. Okay. Back jar. Back. Back jar. Back jar. Door. 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 Window. 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 Balcony. 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 Attic. Okay, so here we have parts of the house. 
you know, they they can be included, right, with the apartments too, right? The apartments. This is in general. Any questions again? Questions about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No, okay. El attic es attic. como, un, como una bodega o, o qué? Exactly, like attic. a warehouse. Exactly, the attic. <laughs> that is the attic. Like, like a warehouse, as you said, a warehouse, una bodega. Okay. Exactly. Gracias. So that, is, that is at the top. That is at the top. If you have, you know, let's say uh, two floors or three floors in your house, so the attic is at the top. Bueno, el, 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 el attic es el que está, ¿verdad? Pues arriba. Si se si, si, si tiene dos plantas, dos pisos, tres pisos. That is the attic. Okay. So this is the vocabulary. Any questions again? Preguntas que se las sabes? ¿Hay dudas? No, teacher. No. Thanks. Okay. Let me ask you some questions, guys. And now you're going to take into account your house. Listen to the question in the example. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in your house? I can say, in my house, in my house, there are eight rooms. Listen, it has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bathroom, and I have four rooms, right? My house has four bedrooms, sorry, four bedrooms. That is my house. In my house, there are eight rooms, eight rooms, listen. It has a living room, and a kitchen, sorry, a dining room, a bathroom, so I have four, right? And four bedrooms, eight. Eight, you know, rooms in my house. Hello. What about you? Let's see, Ana Maria, what rooms are in your house? In my house, there are one, two, three, four, four rooms. Four rooms. And, yeah, four rooms. And it's, it's a li little house. No, it's not big. A small house. A small house. Yes. Okay. Tell me if my so, house my house has sorry. So yes, my house has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, one bathroom, and three bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Okay. Very good. Repeat for me, Ana Maria. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Yes. Okay. You know, this is the, the average, right? Thank you, Ana Maria. This is the average, right? So in my case, if I count the rooms, my house has eight rooms. And then I start listening, right? It has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bathroom, right? I have four. And then I say four bedrooms, one, one, two, three, or four. So I have eight, right? Eight rooms in my house. Eso sería verdad el, el, como el promedio cuando digo there are eight rooms. Porque tengo en mi casa las habitaciones. Okay, let's see. Walter, eh, what rooms are in your house? Okay, let me see. I have five rooms, the living room, here where I am, the kitchen, the dining room, two bedrooms, the bathroom, of course. In the backyard, there is the laundry or the um, bottle. In a front yard. Okay, you have the front yard. Very good. I like it. You, Walter? That's it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. 
Um, I would like to listen to Edma. What rooms are in your house, Edma? In my house, uh, I have five bedroom, no, bedroom. I had four bathroom, uh, one kitchen, and ¿Cómo se dice la lavandería? Área de lavandería. Laundry room. I had a one laundry room and a garage. And, uh, uh, one living room and a dining room. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good, good. Uh, you can say, Edma, in this way, listen. If you want to say, you know, my house has, right? A living room, dining room. They say, right, uh, four bedrooms, for example. Uh, two bathrooms, etc. So that is what you can say, right? It's not necessary to say again, right? It has, or you, I, I have, etc. So it's it's okay if you say just like this, where my house has a living room, a dining room, four bedrooms, two bathrooms. So we're listed, we're making a list, right? Es como que mencionamos una lista. No, lo podemos decir así. No necesario ir diciendo, ¿verdad? Mencionando, I have, I have, I have. En inglés, ¿verdad? Y lo menciono acá. Se tiende a, a evitar, ¿verdad? La repetición, ¿verdad? En cada idioma, ¿verdad? Evitar la repetición. Es que para evitarlo se puede decir así. My house has a living room, a dining room. Eh, let's say a dining uh, Sorry. A landing room. Four bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Etc. That is a way. Ok. Very good. Thank you, Edna. Okay, Let me teacher. See. Good. I would like to listen to Ricardo. What rooms are in your house? It's okay, Walter. No worries. Ricardo, what rooms are in your house? In my house, have um, four bedrooms. In Two bathrooms, a uh, kitchen, the uh, dining room, in yard también cuenta yard. Yeah, como, yeah, of course, yard. A yard y creo que solamente. Excellent. Only that you can say only that, only that. Only that. Yes. Good one, Ricardo. Thank you so much. Okay, we will go with the second question and I will listen to more participants. What rooms are in houses in your country? Let's take into account right, our country, right? And think about the houses, right? The average, right, of the houses. ¿Cómo se encuentra en nuestro país? Y pensemos, ¿verdad? En las casas por medio. ¿Cuántas habitaciones tienen? What rooms are in houses in a, in a country? You can say, right, again, in houses in my country, there are six rooms, for example. It has a living room and you start mentioning, right? So tell me, what rooms are in houses in our country? Volunteers? Uh, yes, your yep. teacher. Okay. In house in my country, there are uh, three or two uh, rooms. It's okay. Yeah, you can say it has a living room, a dining room. Ah, okay. It uh, has a um, living room. Uh, kitchen, din, uh, uh, 
gen general, a bathroom, and two bedroom or three bedroom. Depend the house. Yeah, it depends on the house. Exactly. Good. It is. Thank you so much. So, una cosita, una, una observación, verdad, para en general. Cuando decimos there are six rooms, por, por ejemplo, nos estamos refiriendo a todas, verdad, a todas las habitaciones. Por lo general, le decimos habitaciones a los, a los lugares, verdad. The living room, the dining room, porque tienen la palabra en sí, verdad. Room, room. Entonces, cuando referimos a six rooms, I'm referring to, for example, in houses in my country. There are six rooms. Okay, I would say, I would say it has a living room, kitchens, a dining room, a bathroom, and I would say two bedrooms, right? One and two bedrooms. Six, right? Okay, a living room, a dining room, kitchen, a bathroom, and two bedrooms. Teacher, quiero, yeah. quiero saber si estoy entendiendo correctamente. Entonces, quiere decir que esto lo decimos para todo lo que está, eh, todo lo que está, digamos, los cuartos, el baño, etcétera, eh, de esa manera, para no estarlo como repitiendo. Y luego solo hago la mención. Exactly. So that's okay. what we're doing. Yeah. So we have, as you can see here, right, this house has one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's say nine, nine rooms, nine rooms. In some cases, we include the jar, right? The jar, it's okay. But you know, I would say inside, right? Inside the house. Me estoy refiriendo a lo que está dentro, más que todo. The jar a veces se incluye también, pero para eso es adicional. No se le podría decir como room, ¿verdad? Específicamente. Pero más que todo lo que está adentro, ¿verdad? Por lo general decimos rooms, ¿verdad? Rooms, eh, because, you know, they are different, different places, right? Habitaciones, etc. Eh, so in this case, I say, right? Oh, sorry. In houses, in my country, there are six rooms. And you say, so that is the total, right? This is the total. So this is the average. Eso sería como total o promedio, ¿verdad? De lo que tienen las, las casas, ¿verdad? Las partes, las habitaciones. Es que mi teacher, y cuando la, está unida la cocina con el comedor, sería... Ah, just a kitchen. Yes. Ah, okay. Just a kitchen, yeah. Lo que, lo que mencionaba hace un momento, ¿verdad? Que en algunos lugares, algunas casas, ¿verdad? Tienen sus su comedores y la cocina ahí mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, se le dicen de kitchen. Yeah. Okay, I will have to listen to somebody else. Let's see. Hey, Ever, what rooms are in houses in our country? Uh, in house in my country, there are seven rooms. It has three bedrooms, a living room, kitchen, a bathroom, and yard. Very good, ever. Prepare for me ever, in houses. In, in houses. houses. Yes. In houses. Excellent. Thank you, ever. Very good. Let's go with the next question because of the time, right? Now tell me, listen, it's different. What rooms are in apartments in our country? Listen, the, the apartment is small, right? It's small. So as you can see in the picture, right? The apartment. And so we have a few rooms, right? A few rooms. So tell me what rooms are in apartments in our country? In apartments in my country, there are four Five rooms, for example, it has, it depends. I would like to listen to some of you. Let me see. Um, Sandra, what rooms are in apartments in our country? 
in apartments in my country, there are, it has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, one bathroom, y normalmente se cuenta con two bedroom o one bedroom, porque suele ser pequeño. That's right, that's right. So you can say, Sandra, in apartments in my country, there are five rooms, five rooms. So that is okay. the total, right? The total. Sí. Sería como el total. And then you say. Es, tengo que mencionar, eh, sí, me olvidó mencionar. Eh, yeah. Siempre dijo que mencionáramos cuántos en total había. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, it's okay, no problem, no problem. Lo siento. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. Let me see, the last participant. Marvin, what rooms are in apartments in our country? Okay, teacher. Uh, in apartment in my country, uh, I don't know in exactly room, o sea, no sé exactamente cuántos cuartos tienen los apartamentos que hay alrededor de, de, de mi ciudad, pero uh, uh -huh. uh, um, for room, okay. for example, uh, it has a living room, kitchen, uh, two bedroom, dinner room. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, listen, eh, we're going to practice with a conversation. I have a conversation too. Eh, I would like to know if everything is clear over here. Todo bien hasta el momento? Todo claro? Yes. Yeah. Somebody else? No? Questions? Okay, we're going to practice with a conversation. Le look at the conversation, Sean. I need you to listen and practice. Practice with your classmates. This is our conversation. The conversation is between Linda and Chris. Linda and Chris. We're going to listen to them, right? We're going to practice. Uh, I'm going to start, you know, I'm, I, I want you to listen to me first, listen to the conversation, and then you will practice. I'm going to perform it now. Listen to me. Linda and Chris. Let's go on the count of three. One, two, three. Listen first. Listen first. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What? Why? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. That is our conversation. So Linda, right, is talking about the new apartment, right? Very good. So questions about the conversation? Preguntas acá de la conversación? Sí, teacher, ¿qué significa Lake View? Lake View Drive, that is a place. That is a place in that context. So the question is, where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. It's like you say, right? If on or in San Salvador, for example. That is the place. This is the number of lugar. Lakeview Drive. Okay. Somebody else? Y lo Sorry. primero que dice Linda was... Guess what? ¿Qué es? Guess what? Um, it, this is an expression that is, is used in, in English, right? It, it is common to use it, right? And you, you're like, you know, 
like surprise, right? Surprise for something. Adivina qué? Sería como la equivalencia. Guess what? Se utiliza bastante. Uh, you want to, to show, right? Surprise. Surprise. Guess what? I have a new apartment. We're going to practice with some you know, volunteers. Uh, I'm going to listen to Ana Mercedes. Ana Mercedes, can you help me? Yes. Okay, Ana Mercedes, you'll be Linda and I'm going to be Chris. Okay, we're going to perform okay. the conversation together. Okay. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Let's go. With what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. What is it? Oh, Lake View Drive. On, on Lake View Drive. On, on Lake View Drive. On oh. Lake View Drive. Oh. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of. Another. Another apartment building. Yeah, building. Repeat, repeat over me, apartment. 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 Yes. Apartment. Very good. Thank you, Anaman Seves. Okay, we will have more yes. participants. Any volunteers? Two volunteers. Yeah, teacher. Okay, it is. Okay. okay, I have a, it is Regina, I guess, and it is Rosario. Yeah. And then I will listen to Elma. Okay, it is Regina, you will be Linda. Hold on, hold on. It is Regina, you will be Linda, and it is Rosario, you are Chris. Let's start. Okay. Hey, guess what? I have a new apartment. What's great? What is it like? It's really beautiful. It's, it's very big. Well, it has big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Where is it? On Lowing Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a new? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yeah. Building. Yes. Thank you. Repeat for me. It is Regina. Lake yeah. View Drive. Lake View Drive. Lake View. Lake View Drive. Drive. Lake yes. View Drive. Another word, apartment. Apartment. Yeah. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Uh, yes. Repeat, uh, please, uh, pronunciation. The, um, of la lake um, on lake view uh -huh. drive repeat again please on lake view drive thank you you're welcome okay let's go with edma and i'm going to select let me see i would like to listen to maria julia edma and maria julia okay, okay. Sure. edma you okay Okay, right now. Edna, you will be Linda and Maria Julia will be Chris. Let's start. Guess what? Have a new apartment? That is great. What is light? It's really beautiful. Is it, is it very big? Well, it's a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and kitchen, and a kitchen. Where is it? Online view dry. Oh, nice. Does it uh, have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Yeah, very good. That was awesome. Edmund, repeat for me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Okay, listen, because of the time, we're gonna go with the last participant. So I'm gonna have Walter and I'm going to select Andrea. Walter and Andrea. What is my character? Uh, Walter, you'll be Chris. And Andrea, you will help us with uh, Linda, right? Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Was, was what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it had a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Oh, what is it? Um, Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, I do. It has a great view of another apartment building. That sounds great. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Walter and Andrea. Well, guys, listen, it's time. We're going to start right here, but you know, I will invite you to practice, practice more, please, with the conversation. Les voy a pedir de favor, pero por el tiempo vamos a estar hasta acá. Yo sé que es hora y sé que probablemente tienen eh, otras cosas que hacer, ¿verdad? Así es que vamos a quedar hasta acá. Pero sí quiero, ¿verdad?, hacer mención de lo siguiente. Por favor, practiquemos con la conversación. Practiquemos nosotros, ¿verdad? Individual, no importa. Y, ¿verdad? Tengamos eso, ¿verdad? Ser turno, ¿verdad? Eh, Para que sigamos, ¿verdad? Sigamos acá en la práctica. Si hay dudas o preguntas, me las hacen saber. Y no olvidemos, en caso no hemos completado una sección que se nos, bueno, las secciones que nos, se nos ha indicado, por favor, hagámoslo ahora para no tener ningún inconveniente. Y la próxima semana, pues ya iríamos ¿verdad? otra vez, de lunes a jueves. Para ese día estamos reponiendo. Lunes a jueves de 1 a 2 p.m. ¿okay? Cualquier cosita, estamos ahí a la orden. Ahí me pueden contactar para lo que necesiten. Es que sigamos practicando, sigamos avanzando en la plataforma y los veo el lunes, ¿verdad? Please, guys, have a nice weekend. Enjoy it, relax. Um, blessings to your families. Thank you for your time during this week, our first week, right? And I will see you next Monday. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Thank Bye. you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.